Smartsheet forms are simple to build, customize, and share so you can collect accurate, consistent data and then take action on it. Whether you need to manage event registrations, gather customer feedback, or quickly share updates on the go, forms are a simple way to gather the information you need. Let's look at an example by adding a form to a sheet we've created to track website enhancement requests. We'll get started by clicking on Forms, then click Create New Form. By default, your sheet name is used as the form's title, and your sheet columns can be used as fields in the form. Form fields are each labeled with the column name by default, but can be modified with a custom label. You can also include help text. Column types from your sheet determine each field's properties and display options. Requester is a contact list column, so we'll ask for the requester's email address and make this field required so we can follow up with anyone who sends in a request. Department is a drop-down list column. This gives us the option to display department names in a drop-down list or as radio buttons. Description is a text column. Descriptions can get long, so we'll change the height of the field to accommodate several lines of text. We'll also make the description a required field, so we don't get incomplete entries. Design needed is a checkbox column, so the corresponding field in our form automatically includes a checkbox and display options. Most of the requests the team receives have a design component, so we'll make Yes the default option. Due date is a date column, so the field includes a date picker. We'd also like people to include screenshots, so we'll add a file upload field to our form. With all the fields we want included in our form, let's make a few changes to make it easier for others to fill it out. Don't worry about making changes to your form. Moving fields in your form won't affect the order of the columns in your sheet, and deleting fields will not delete the columns from your sheet. Use form options to display a custom message and send a confirmation email to the submitter. Before we make this form available, we'll add some additional columns to our sheet to help track and manage the requests. We'll use a system column to automatically capture the created date of each submission so we can track the team's response time. We'll also add a column for assigned to so we can track the ownership and progress of the requests. Create automated actions to get an update as soon as new entries are added so you can review and respond to requests. You can also set up a notification to alert team members when a new task is assigned to them. Share your form by adding the URL to a web page, embedding your form, or emailing a link. And that's how to use forms to quickly and easily collect and act on information.